Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of changing mixed numbers to improper fractions and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. First we're going to look at 3 and 1 third. Let's draw a pictorial representation of 3 and 1 third first. So I'm going to draw 3 holes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shade these 3 holes in and then I'm going to draw a 4th circle. I'm going to cut it into thirds and we have our 3 and 1 third. What we need to do to change this mixed number, 3 holes and 1 third, into an improper fraction is look at all of the holes as fractions. And since we're dealing with thirds, let's go ahead and cut each of these into thirds. And so what we have here is 3 thirds plus 3 thirds makes 6 thirds plus 3 thirds make 9 thirds plus that extra third over there it's going to make 10 thirds. Now how can you do this without drawing a picture? Well, take a look at your whole number and your denominator. The whole number tells you how many holes you have and the denominator tells you how many pieces each of those holes are broken up into. So what you need to do is multiply your whole number times your denominator. 3 times 3. So that's going to give you 9 pieces or 9 thirds. And that's what we have here with these three holes is three sets of three makes nine. But then you also have this one hole left over and that's your numerator from the fraction. And that's this one right here. We have to add that back in. So you have to do two things. First you multiply the whole number by the denominator. Then you add back in that numerator and you have ten thirds. Let's look at another example. Five and three quarters. So first let's use pictures here. I'm going to go ahead and draw five circles. And I'm going to shade each of them in so that's going to represent my five holes. And then I'm going to draw one more circle but I'm only going to shade in three fourths. So if I want to write this mixed number five and three fourths as an improper fraction, what I need to do is I need to look at each of my holes as fractions. And since we're dealing with fourths, let's cut each of these up into fourths. And so what you should be doing is counting. We've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 fourths, and then we've got 1, 2, 3 extra. So that's going to end up being 23 fourths. So that improper fraction is equal to 5 and 3 quarters. Let's see if we can do it without drawing a picture. Remember, the first thing you do is you look at your whole number and your denominator. The whole number tells you how many holes there are. The denominator tells you how many sections each of those holes are cut into. So each of those holes are cut into four sections. So to figure out how many total sections there are, you're going to take your whole number, you're going to multiply it by your denominator. So 5 times 4, that's going to make 20. So you have 20 fourths in those five holes, but then you cannot forget those three fourths that are left over from the numerator, so you need to the second part is add that numerator back in, and that's going to be 23 whole, 23 pieces, and the fraction is still going to have 4 as a denominator because we're still dealing with fourths. Now it's time for you to try. For practice, why don't you try changing both of these mixed numbers into improper fractions? For an extra challenge, take your 7.5 and, and change it into an improper fraction using picture, and the 3 and 4 sevenths, try changing it without using a picture. Because I'm not sure about you, but I'm not really sure how to take a circle and cut it into sevenths. When you have your answers, start the video back up and check your work. So for 7 and a half, we're going to draw 7 circles here. That's going to represent our 7 holes. And then we're going to go ahead and draw our half down here. We're going to take each of our holes, we're going to break it up into 2 pieces, and we're going to start counting. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then the 15th down here. So 7 and 1 half makes 15 halves. Now with 3 and 4 sevenths, remember you take your whole number, you multiply it by your denominator to see how many pieces you have. You have 21 pieces in the 3 holes. Then you've got to add the 4 from the numerator back in so you have 25 sevenths.